as you can see by the title bro god changed my life this is kind of like a short testimony um for the ones that don't know i was raised in the church my mom raised me the right way. The Bible says train up a child in a way that they should go and they should not depart from it. But my dad passed away. May he rest in peace. I'm a junior. My uh, my real name is Anthony Gerald Smith Jr. Um, He died and I prayed that he would live and he did not make it, bro. And as a child, I was devastated. I was hurt. Imagine this, bro. Imagine. I'm going to get real, real. Imagine this. Growing up, you know, and your dad in a wheelchair. You get what I'm saying? Growing up and your dad in and out the hospital. Seeing everybody else, you know, playing football with their dad, bro. Like, ooh, I could just feel the hurt right now talking about it. Seeing everybody else just playing football with their dad. Seeing everybody playing basketball. Like, oh, like, my dad did this. My dad did that. Oh, my dad. Like, and I'm just sitting there like, man, why did God have to take my dad? And the fact that I prayed, I'm like, yo, God, please, I cried. Yo, God, please don't let my dad die. He was getting really sick. He was losing his um, he was losing his identity. He didn't know who he was. He didn't know what day it was. He didn't know when he was born. He didn't even know who I was. He didn't know who my mama was. It was so painful seeing him go through what he went through. And I just felt like, God, why can't why can't you just heal him, bro? And I would I was so devastated as a child growing up, not having a a, a person to teach you about the you know the sex talk. Growing up, not having a male figure to teach me how to treat a woman, how to treat a lady. Growing up, you get what I'm saying? With that missing piece, you know, as a as a boy, as a male, we need our we need strong father figures. You get what I'm saying? Like, obviously, my sisters, they lost their daddy, but it still was a little different on me. Just like it'll be different on them losing their mama. You know, I didn't have a man to really just lead me the right way type stuff like. No, nobody taught me how to shave. Nobody taught me how to do anything. I learned from seeing my mom be treated the wrong way by my men. I learned by seeing my sister get treated the wrong way by men. And it was just so sad growing up. I grew up very lonely. I just played with my little WWE wrestlers. Um, I used to be so shy, so silent at school. It just was tough, man, growing up, bro. I cried so many times and I blamed God and I became an atheist. I literally stopped believing in God because I'm like, you know what? You know, if God was real, my dad would have never died. You know, why did he allow, you know, my dad to pretty much die? I'm going to turn the light on. Why did why did he, uh, why didn't he, y'all still can't see me. Why did he allow my dad to pretty much die? And I prayed, not knowing. Later on, I found out my dad was ready to got, die. He was tired of my mama going through it because, you know, he didn't want to put her through all this. She had to take his wheelchair. She had to bathe him. She had to do it. My mama was a real one. On some real type, that, that was a wife. I ain't going to cap. She was real. You get what I'm saying? And it, it was so painful. And I didn't want to accept that he wanted to go. You know, we can pray all day. Like, I could pray for you that God changed your life. But if you don't want to change, God is not going to throw you down and force you. You feel what I'm saying? So I just kept praying and stuff like that. He he still wanted to go. And I was blaming that on God. And I fell deep into lust. I fell deep into sin. I started watching a lot of, you know, porn videos. This girl introduced me to porn. Um, She, she introduced me to sex in general. You know, and I was a young boy. I didn't know what was going on. And then that's how a spirit of lust came in. And I was very addicted to masturbation. I was very addicted to watching those videos. I had a very 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 bad anger problem um i would say god is not real and i would laugh and make fun of like christians and my mama will be really devastated my mama will be really hurt because she like you know like i didn't raise you like this my mama was devastated devastated and then one day i went to church mind you i said universe or whoever's up there the man upstairs if somebody's up there listening to me, change my life. I'm tired of going through what I'm going through. They say you're real, whoever you are. Show me that you are real. I asked God, and that's when I began to have an encounter. I was really addicted to those videos to the point, bro, I, demons are real. I don't care what nobody say. I want to sleep like me. I want to sleep like that, bro. And I would wake up and I was in the middle of doing that. Or I would have sex dreams. Bro, if you have any of those, bro, it's definitely not good. That's a demon, bro. And um, I know who that was. I'm in Houston, bro. 
You better watch out. Um, I would literally have those dreams, and I'm like, yo, God, um, if you real, universe, if you real, man, upstairs, you know, Mother Nature, show yourself to me, whoever you are, because I was lost. Went to church. A lady called me out. She said, that habit that you're struggling with, that addiction that you have, from this day, God said, it's over with. And I started crying more than I ever cried. I ain't never cried. And I would see other people cry, but I, I thought they were faking. I thought it was on some acting type. I cried so hard, bruh. I cried, I cried, I cried, I cried. And when I got home, I felt this heat on me. And when I got home, I tried to do it. I ain't even have a desire for it no more. And that's when I knew I'm like, yo, God, answer my prayer. Yo, God is real. You know, I'm just going to sum it up right there, bro. A lot of times we go through certain things. And obviously, when I look back at it, I do feel bad because I didn't believe in God. But God allows us to go through those things so that we may have a testimony. That we may help somebody else with our story. Psalms 119 verse 71. David said, it is good that I've been afflicted. that I may learn your precepts. It's good that I went through that because I, I, I learned. You get what I'm saying? And that's my testimony. And ever since, it ain't been the same, bruh. With God, I'm, I I love Jesus, bruh. I done been homeless. That's for another video. Home, hotel, the hotel. I done been through so much, and yet God was there. God pulled me through just as well as he did that for me. He could do that for you as well, bruh. Be blessed in Jesus' name.